Hey guys, Michael B. The Game Genie here, and I've got some very exciting news to share with you tonight. Dragon's Lair pre-orders are up right now direct through ArcadeOneUp.com, and there's even an initial sale for those early adopters. Find out more about it right after this. So that's right, for classic arcade enthusiasts, the wait is finally over. We finally have a pre-order up on Arcade 1UP for the Dragon's Lair cabinet that was announced so very long ago and we've been waiting to see what it happens. And my god, it's beautiful. It's almost perfect of what we could expect from Arcade 1UP seeing the original cabinet transformed to the three-quarters scale. So guys, if you head on over to the official Arcade One Up Twitter, the wait is over. They know it too. Order Dragon's Lair now, only on ArcadeOneUp.com. So it looks like it's going to be a website exclusive, at least initially. I'm waiting to hear something from Arcade One Up to confirm whether or not that is true. You can take a look at the video here, and you guys are going to be blown away when you see this shit. Dragon's Lair. Oh man, look how cool that is. The machine looks absolutely beautiful. You can notice there is a screen in the background there now for once. It's going to have a custom riser, molded coin door, which is a much necessary thing. The panel looks very cool. It's not the float over panel that we originally saw. The I think it's called a waterfall. They went a different direction. But we are getting the 3D marquee that looks absolutely amazing. The cabinet just looks absolutely beautiful i'm very happy with this I, i'm not in love with the red trim <laughs> i know some of their cabinets had it but I, I, I didn't see that if you when we go to the website you'll see what i mean i didn't notice that so hopefully that's just on the video if it is on the final version it's not a it's not a deal breaker for me so now on the arcade one up Website, it says a U.S. online exclusive, which is not true. It's actually a North American exclusive. You can get it here in Canada as well. Early Dirk discount order now for $50 off and an estimated late summer ship date. So they've got a cool image up there on the main page. We go to the website especially. Don't freak out about the price if this is the first time you're seeing it. It's actually, this is supposed to be $6.49 and then a $5.99 price point here. But I, I'm going from Canada, so they always put it up. Let's see, I'm switching over to U.S. dollars and it doesn't make a difference. The price still remains. So in the U.S., you will be seeing a $5.99 as your purchase price and then $6.49 here. Now, me personally, I think this is a bit of a bait and switch. I think this is a $5.99 cabinet anyways, but they're doing the $50 off. It's the old uh, Ron Popeil trick of dial now in the next 20 minutes and you can save $50 from your purchase. So I think this is actually a $5.99 cabinet, but they're just giving you the option to save a couple bucks early. And of course, it's a website exclusive. Ships to US. USA and Canada only, so not a U.S. exclusive. Take a look here. If you look at the cabinet, we'll go back to the first picture they threw up there. You can see the red trim isn't here, but uh, we do have this here. It looked like a waterfall design in some of the earlier pictures, but it, it looks like it's just going to have a custom J panel. The speaker is going to be front facing. No longer do you have bring your own screen. It's going to be the traditional screen. Uh, I believe this is a 17 inch monitor. Looking at the bezel, yes, it's going to be a 17 inch monitor. Cabinet's about 60 inches tall. Overall, it looks incredible. It's everything I wanted it to be. Waiting on final confirmation, I guess we'll find from Mary one up whether or not it's going to have the red trim, red T-molding that it has in the video. I Honestly, I think it looks better without the trim, so hopefully that's not a direction they went in. Uh, you can see here the marquee. You can't really tell it from this image, but when you go further over... You can see right there, it is going to be the 3D marquee, just like in the arcades, like we're familiar with. To me, I think they absolutely just killed this design. It looks fantastic. So we go down here. We're not going to read all that foolishness, but we go to review, uh, features and specification. It's only going to be the three games. That's all anybody was expecting. So Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair 2, the Time Warp, and Space Ace. So the features are, it's going to be a custom arcade, no other like it, secondary LCD screen. So we know now that the alphanumeric screen is going to be an LCD screen screen, not going to have to hook up your phone anymore, dual front facing speakers, light up marquee, light up molded marquee too, molded coin door, and a custom riser. 
Then you've got your specifications, symbol dimension 19.75 by 19.90 uh, width, and then 60.5 inches height. Now, I'll go back to the pictures because for those of you wondering, this is going to be a taller cabinet like Tron. I guess the height already tells it, but you can see right here, these four screws, anytime you're looking at one of these pictures, means that there's an additional side panel extender put on, which seems to be becoming the norm for Arcade 1 Up right now. And honestly, it's cool. So going back down, weight is going to be 69.10 labs. I, I don't know what the pounds conversion is on that. I'm not a scientist. Adjustable volume, clear deck protector, anti-tip over strap. Hey, hey, where's my coinless operation? <laughs> So guys, that's it. Uh, if you want to get in on it now, you've got the early pre-order price. Save $50 off. They're calling it the early Dirk discount and an estimated late summer ship date. So guys, that's exciting. I know, like a lot of you, we've been waiting for Dragon's Lair for a long time. Like I've talked about it. My arcade is chocked full. Like I am blocked to the gills and I have very specific arcades that I'm willing to move out to bring something else in. And one of the ones I've been waiting on desperately is Dragon's Lair from Arcade 1 Up. The dream of owning a Dragon's Lair that you can stand in front of and play has always been there for me, and I'm very, very excited about this release from Arcade 1 Up. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be ordering it direct, because for those of you who have been following me for a while, I haven't had the best experience with ordering direct. Here in Canada, it kind of sucks. So there's going to be shipping and tax and duty, which uh, is going to bring me well over $1,000 on this cabinet. So according to this, it's saying that I'm going to be paying $119 Canadian in shipping, which is one of the best uh, shipping rates I've ever got from Arcade 1UP. Actually, that's very impressive. If you're doing some kind of um, maniac, wacky shipping with, um, you know, uh, with FedEx, I, I don't know, Arcade 1UP, I want to say thank you because that's a lot better than I've previously been paying, but it's still $119. Like, ugh, ugh. And plus, then on top of that, I'm going to have to pay tax, which is 765 times 15%, plus an additional $30 in duty. So I'm still looking at over $1,000 by the time I'm done for this cabinet. So, you know, it's a big ask. So we knew Arcade 1UP was going to be coming out with this cabinet, announcing it, and it was going to be out for sale later this year. The uh, initial thing we were told is look for it around June. And I'm scratching my head here thinking... Why do it now? Why is Arcade 1 Up bringing this out now? And this is where we can all put on our tin hats and run a little conspiracy here. Some a little Illuminati type stuff. I didn't get my eye. Oh, wait a minute. That's how I do it. Illuminati type stuff. So Arcade 1 Up announces a Dragon's Lair pre-order early because it was supposed to be June. And then now they're saying it's right now. You can do the pre-order with a uh, shipping date, even with a sale. Why would they be doing that right now? Well, for those of you that aren't living under a rock, another home arcade company just last week announced their new cabinets, the iArcade Gold Edition, and you can see right here a brand new Dragon's Lair cabinet with upgraded features. So the brand new Dragon's Lair and the other iArcades are now available from iArcade to pre-order with an actual uh, late summer release date as well. They're saying this is going to be out by, I think it was July... They were going to start shipping, so July for the iArcade. And you can see the Dragon's Lair Gold Edition here, and let's see if we can get into that one specific. So right now, you can order for a special pre-order price of $7.99 down from $9.99, so you can get it for $7.99. As you can see, this is a much different cabinet. They went away from the original artwork. They've got their own version of Dragon's Lair. Anybody who already has an iArcade has already played it. It's a digital leisure game. It's more of the, uh, I, I forget what it's called, but it's actually a pan and scan version uh, done specifically for uh, iArcade of their um, home arcade release. I think that's the way it's called. So it's not exactly the arcade game, but it's a frame by frame recreation of the arcade game. I can't remember exactly. Someone who's m more knowledgeable in it would have to jump in. But what Arcade 1UP is going to do different is they are basically working on a new version of the original Arcade ROM um, where they have the original stills. This is a, um, I can't remember, pan and scan, uh, reformatted version of the original arcade game, but the home version of it. And I think Brad O'Connell once told me it's 
um, what's the right term, uh, upgraded for the iArcade. So they've got their own unique version. So uh, what Arcade 1UP is doing, they're trying to re do a recreation of the original arcade uh, ROM while iArcade have uh, a scene-for-scene -scene remake of the original arcade, but um, I can't remember the word for it. Maximized, enhanced for the iArcade. Anyways, I mean, it comes down to what do you want here? Like, if you just want a beautiful arcade cabinet that represents Dragon Lair, this could be the one you're looking at. And this cabinet also does a bunch of different stuff. This is a multi k The new version has sound by JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield. Oh, why did I go in here? So there's lots of options there that you can get into. You can play Beach Buggy Racing. Uh, you can see right there, there's someone playing Double Dragon on it. So it's basically a multi k with Double Dragon... Double Dragon Dragon's Lair artwork, but it's not the original cabinet. Now, for those people that want to recreate the original game, the original experience, in a cabinet that looks more like the original, that's what Arcade 1UP is for. But I find it interesting that Arcade 1UP is releasing their pre-order for Dragon's Lair seemingly early and with a sale price, the same time as iArcade are releasing their new Dragon's Lair pre-order cabinet with a sale price early for pre-order. It just seems very convenient that these are two are coming out at the same time. Yeah, like, I don't think these are, in fact, competing products by any means. And I'm not saying that one's bigger than the other or anything like that. I'm just saying I find these to be more complementary products, even though these both are arcades that are offering Dragon's Lair and have different artworks, they, they kind of serve different markets or the same market. Like, the people that are going to buy the Arcade 1UP Dragon's Lair, it's not going to matter to them that, uh, you know, iArcade has a Dragon's Lair cabinet. It's not the same thing. People, in my mind, maybe I'm wrong, the people that buy Arcade 1UP are the people that want to recreate the original arcade experience. It's kind of like buying a quarter arcade, except you're buying a three-quarter arcade, and you can create this faux room where you can have this faux cabinet. Now, for people that are more interested in just playing Dragon's Lair, they're probably interested in playing a bunch of games on any arcade they're going to buy, so they're going to buy a multi -cade. And if you're going to buy a multi -cade, the iArcade is an excellent option, especially the new Gold Editions. They look great. They've got a light-up marquee. They've got enhanced sound. They've moved some of the shit around inside the cabinet to um, make the experience a little bit better, move some of the motherboards away from the speaker to get rid of the hiss. These guys know what they're doing. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think of the news arcade one-ups? Dragon's Lair is finally here. I'm super excited. I'm going to have to talk to my wife. We have a no cabinet uh, rule, but I did tell her I was going to buy this one. So I have to get the wife's permission <laughs> to go pick this up. You guys are so going to kill me for saying that, but it's totally true. I do have to do that. And there's also the IRK Gold Edition. I love this thing. I, I would love a chance to review it. I, I reached out to him. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to get a review cabinet. So, uh, you know, I, I've got to figure out whether or not I want to buy it. But I, I've already got an IRK over there that does everything the new cabinet does except for the features so we'll see uh, i think my buddy mike dalton might end up getting one so maybe i can go check out his if i want to do a review video on it and um save the cash i'll eventually get one one day maybe i'll upgrade my cabinet but for right now i don't know anyways guys let me know in the comments are you going to be picking up the arcade one up dragon's lair cabinet are you going to jump on this pre-order and do you think we are going to get this at retail too or is it going to be a website exclusive so far Looks like it's going to be a website exclusive. I am hoping to hear something about us here in Canada. Because like I said, those shipping rates, they kind of suck. And then the tax and duty kind of sucks. So it would be cool if we could get this at retail and maybe save a couple bucks. So I'm waiting to hear if any retailers in Canada are going to get it. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments. And I, I apologize. I haven't been around much. If you guys don't know, I've been a little busy this past week. So for those not in the know, uh, my wife has been pregnant for the last little while and we've been expecting our second bundle of joy and on Tuesday my son was born. Say hello to uh, Game Genie number two, Game Genie Jr. or uh, better known as Thomas, Thomas B. So guys say hello to Thomas B, the little Game Genie Jr. Um, we're happy to welcome into the world my new little buddy. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. So good to be back on YouTube talking to you guys again. Can't wait to hear what you have to say about this in the comments. And holy shit, Dragon's Lair finally came out. The joke is over. It's finally available. I'm super excited. Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, and I'll talk to you next time.